Hello, hello. I hope everyone's having a great day. To all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, so let's talk about heat guns for a second because uh, the technique I'm about to show you uses heat guns. And sometimes I forget just how hot they can get. I rearranged my desk the other day, kind of just shifted some things. I moved the heat gun to um, a place I don't usually put it. I used it for a project and then I had something on the other side of it. I reached over, my arm grazed the top of the still hot metal part and this happened right here. Your girl burnt herself. I mean, this legit hurt, it hurt so bad. So bad. <sighs> uh. So be careful, please proceed with caution. Anyhow, done with that public service announcement. For today's cards, we're gonna be doing some stamp layering, we're gonna be doing some embossing. Um, I have gold embossing powder, but any nice metallic you have will work great for this technique. Got this here, so I can show you. Stamp layering, a beautiful flower set by Altenu, and we've got gold embossing. So, you know what? I'm excited. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so here's the card. Um, <laughs> it's not done. This is just the one I made ahead of time when I was practicing uh, this technique. I really, really like this design. I like how it turned out. I love the cluster of flowers and leaves. So here's the Ultra New stamp set. Love this rose stamp layering set. I get so much use out of this set. I can't even tell you. And there go the dies. I did invest in the dies. For this set, I, if you can, I recommend investing in it. It works great. And there goes the cutout. This is some an extra one that I had from when I made my previous card. So that's what it looks like. And then I wanted to use the Concord and Ninth inks. Alt New inks are great and they work great with their stamp layering sets, but I really wanted to use a Concord and Ninth inks. And then my Desert Storm Nina, Nina Desert Storm cardstock, which I love, craft paper, instead of the traditional white. So I'm actually gonna just cut out my roses first. I'm doing it backwards, I know, but I'm cutting them all out first from craft cardstock and then I'm gonna stamp on them. I'm gonna show you why. I saw this trick, I think, first on Jennifer McGuire's uh, page, YouTube channel, and it, it it blew my mind. It makes stamp layering so much easier. So instead of trying to line up your die to the stamp, you just cut everything from blank cardstock. You put the stamp layers in, and you see how it fits just in that negative space that I saved from what I already cut out. And then you just take your blank pieces. So I have all my blank roses. You just figure out, you know, make sure you turn it the right way. It'll pop right into the negative space. I do add a little bit of adhesive just so it doesn't stick to the stamp and move, but it works so well for me. So I grabbed, I think that was Ballet Slipper for my first layer. I will link all of the layers below with the inks that I used for them. Um, and I'm just speeding this up. So I'm stamping the first layer and I'm going to do that for every single rose. I think I cut out three or four. And I'm going to grab the second layer and do the same thing. And this makes it easy because you leave the one stamp in place and then you just pop in your negative spaces. One, two, three, four, however many you've cut. And when I cut um, the, ne sorry, not the negative, the positive spaces. <laughs> when I cut for stamp layering, I usually cut more than I need so I can save some for the next time I grab that set. And I just store it in the same bag as the stamp. So there goes the next layer, Sorbet. I love this color. The names are so fun on the Concord and Ninth inks. And look at that, three layers and already it is, I mean, it's just stunning, stunning. All right, now the fourth layer. Here's where we get to have fun with the gold. I'm gonna line up the fourth layer, but instead of using ink, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to um, use Versamark. I'm gonna use my watermark stamp pad, a little bit of powder, you know. And then I'm going to put gold 
embossing powder on this. Um, I chose my Ranger Gold Embossing Powder. I really like this one. Um, I like the Ranger Embossing Powders in general. And I just use a little coffee filter for mine. I can't tell you, I think, was this the day, one of the days where I totally um, just <laughs> spilt some embossing powder. Um, so I'm just wanting to point out there are two more layers to this rose. I did not stamp them. That is one thing with stamp layering. You can try different layers, but the first three layers looked great. I didn't even need to do this fourth layer, but I wanted to do gold. But the other two layers, you know, you don't even need. So if you're rushed for time or you're just like, I'm tired, I don't want to do all the layers, or you think, oh, I don't have enough of the inks, just don't do the other layers. There's no rule that says you have to do all of them. And look, that's only four layers, and I think it looks fabulous yes more layers will add more dimension but I think this was just enough so I did all of that with the roses I did all of my roses and now I'm going to do my leaves but I'm not going to take as much time because I don't want the video to be too long but it's the same concept I did use the Concord and Ninth inks and I will go ahead and um, list them below what I used for each layer and then I think for the leaves, I did use all the layers. It doesn't have as many as the roses, but I did gold embossing for the last layer. And then I have everything, all of them. I just think they look so pretty just laid out like that. And that last little bit is just from the stamp set also. Um, it's just that little cluster of flowers in the middle. I just made a couple of those. But look at this detail. I think it's so pretty. I could just look at these all day. I just want to stick them on stuff, you know? <laughs> all right, let's assemble our card. I just took some Bristol Smooth cardstock and I just cut about, about a quarter inch. I didn't really measure, or I guess I kind of measure, about a quarter inch off each, each side. And that was a five inch by seven inch. And so I wanted to just leave a little border and I'm mounting it on my white, um, card base. For my 5x7 cards, I do usually purchase my card bases. I just find it um, is easier for me and cheaper than using one whole sheet of paper just for one card base when I fold it. And then I just want to arrange all of these kind of to get a general idea of how I want them and then where I'm going to put my sentiment before I, you know, tape it all down. And you can always take a photo too. If you want to remember. So I grabbed this sentiment from the um, Stamps of Life flower. I think it's Build a Flower set. I can't remember. <laughs> but I will link it below. But it says thanks a bunch. And I thought that was really nice because it's a bunch of flowers, you know. Um, and I don't know. I like the font. It's crisp. Um, the stamp Stamps of Life sets have a lot of really fun sayings. But I am just popping foam adhesive, or I guess you call it foam foam tape, on the backs of the leaves, on the backs of the flowers. Um, on some of the leaves, because they're sticking out, I only did put foam tape on the very top of the leaf so I could stick the other piece under. But there it is. And I love how shiny it is. You just, when I mean, you catch the light, it's like, surprise, girl, surprise. It is there. And then I just added some sequins from the stamp market. And it is done. Is it finished? And I love it. <laughs> so I wanted to show, I didn't uh, film this, but I did want to show another stamp layering set that I used. Uh, this is a Flamingo set by Hero Arts. And I did the same thing on, on the last layer of the Flamingo. I used gold. Um, and I made a few of these and I wanted to make some fun cards and I just, I love these. Um, I will be posting these to my blog where you can find out just the supplies I use for them. And then these are the two flower cards also. Uh, there is the one on the right that we just made and then the one on the left that I made before. I use slightly different colors for the layers. Well, I use the same colors but I mixed them around on the layers. So that is the video for today. 
using your um, stamp layering sets, stretching your supplies, making the most of them. Use that gold or use another color. You know, there's so many beautiful embossing powders out there. Um, there is one I have, so I can remember the name of it. Here it is, Liquid Platinum, also by Ranger. I definitely want to try that one, but I just kind of got stuck on, stuck, stuck on the gold. Anyhow, thank you for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about uh, this technique. Leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you, see if you've tried it, if you made any tweaks to it, anything that uh, else you've tried with gold embossing powder. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.